Hi guys, Corey Hughes with Josh here, and today we're reviewing the 2005 Buick LeSabre. This is a custom, and the trims go from custom to limited. And I think they might be, there might be an ultra one in there, I'm not sure. Um, now this is a full-size car. Um, this is a great family cruiser. Um, it's got this chrome throughout, you know, it's got chrome all around. Um, it's pretty nice looking, I guess, you know chrome wheels with chrome um, I mean not chrome but a Buick sign there got chrome all around there and um, yep dual power seat well six-way power seat here two-way manual lumbar and then two-way manual um, reclining so let's go ahead and check out the driver got chrome wheels there also Chrome here, chrome again here. A lot of chrome on this. And so let's go ahead and check out the driver as you come in. You get your power windows, power mirrors, and power locks. You also get your heated seat. Yeah, this is a tan leather interior with heated seats, dual power six way seat, and then dual lumbar but it's manual coming in the center console here you got two cup holders pretty deep um center console here but yeah and then it comes and turns into a, si a seat this is the six oh, six passenger seat i mean six passenger car excuse me um you get your trunk here your um map pocket here you get you know shutting your door wood trim throughout with your heated seat button there, chrome handle. You get steering wheel controls. These are for your audio. These, and then down here are for your cruise control. This is a four-spoke wheel with airbag built in. Two airbags in this thing. One here and one over there. Um, as you come to the dash, pretty simple. You know, you got your speedometer right up there. Fuel gauge and temperature gauge. Tachometer with your information station. You can do your miles there. Your fuel info, um, your gauge info right there. You can reset it. Your like engine meter and stuff like that. Whole lot of stuff there. Your vents right here. Your light controls there. This has tilt wheel with you know your blinkers like normal. Um, you got your trash control here if you're pressing like your tow haul mode. It's not tow haul mo mode, but it's trash traction control and it's hooked up to a four-speed automatic um, transmission you get your these um your climate controls it's not dual which I wish it was dual because um Impala is dual I'm surprised it's not dual climate control this has your here's your temperature your fan speed you can turn it off um, you can recirculate the air your vent you know all normal stuff Kind of a little bit, you have to get used to it. Two um, power outlets with ashtray here. Little storage up there. Um, CD and tape, AM, FM. So it's basically simple, you know, it's simple, easy controls, easy to use. Um, also, um, over here you get a pretty big glove box and it locks too, that's nice. You get your LeSabre um, Custom by Buick sign there get your airbag over there your air vents over here now coming up here too you get your OnStar now believe it or not this thing has hands-free calling if you pay if you, you have to pay OnStar this comes back to um, this is an option but um, here's your press button here and you can call you can um, call from here it's got a built-in phone kind of thing like there um, you got your emergency button there that calls ambulances if um, like you crash or something. Here's up here is your power button to turn off this compass. It has a built-in compass also, so that's kind of nice. You got your lights here, and um, you can get available sunroof, but this one doesn't have it. You get your um, get your little mirror visor thing with a pull out there, which is nice. So let's go ahead and check out the back. Oh, and another thing is it's got wood trim here. I like that wood trim there, too. 
that is nice styling so yeah let's go ahead and check out the back all right for the back let's go ahead and open it up you get the wood trim again with the chrome look there power window no map pocket i wish it had it but it doesn't it's got this little good grip here good like good like a, almost a full hand there for leg room i'm five four about you know so it's pretty comfortable um you get two cup holders here a little bit smaller on this if small side um you got some pretty big couple cups might have trouble fitting it there no more armrest which i wish it had it doesn't but I, I like this leather here leather seats you get these handles up here and clothes like your you can hook clothes up there um normal styling you know for the doors and stuff same kind of harder st stuff there but you get this nice little black stuff here i'll show you up here you get this kind of like a black trim around it of course you get some stitching you'll see over here you get stitching stitch leather these have anchors in them for car seats and you also get anchors down here um, you have to dig for them you can see that it says it though it's got anchors down there so you can anchor down your car seat and yeah it's pretty nice you get a rear defrost window um, pretty simple back here you know but you get lots of leg room you can lean here on your arm pretty nice so yeah all right for the trunk now this is a wide opening trunk you can fit a lot of things up here it's nice and not as deep as i like it but it's um back here it's really wide you know, this is a massive trunk you know i like this thing it's wide opening you can put stick wide things in here so this thing is this car is wide so i do like how it's a wide opening trunk so overall you can fit a lot of groceries luggage anything you want back here and it's pretty big you know it's massive so yeah let's go ahead and check out under the engine two this thing has a 3.8 liter v6 underneath here and this has a good enough power too it is a series 2 this is also this um, hood is with the hydraulic thing there so that's nice Let's get the 3.8 series 2 um, good horsepower and torque I'm not sure what that is but um it, it, it really it goes for a big full-size car like this is it is it goes pretty good you know it you hit the gas and it moves you know and so yeah overall this is a nice car too I like this thing um, great family cruiser or something this thing is big so whatever you it holds six people and it holds a lot of luggage so this is like a family cruiser and it is nice this is car reviews with Josh saying thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe thank you for watching again and we'll see you next time